All right, so we got a new client in right now, and she's just been rescued. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a, um, we want in two months, she wants to come back in two months, and she wants to be kind of right here in two months. So in that case, I might do a four guard, but I really don't want her to be back here in about a month. So I'm really testing to see if I really want to do, let's just say, a seven, a seven blade. But you talk to your client, you ask them what their budget is, how often they want to come in, how much grooming do they want to be responsible for doing at home, and then decide then how, what they want to be. So her answer was, I want to be kind of like right here in about two months, right? Or I told her, I said, in two months, if I do what I need to do, she'll be right back to this. If you're here for grooming because of this, then that means you want a haircut. And she said, yes. So let's try the four guard conspicuously back here. to see if this will be enough hair. I think I need to do a little bit, a tiny bit more than half off is where I think we should be. I kinda wanna do just a little bit more than that, but the seven blade seems like it might be just a shy short, but let me try something else here. Let's see what this two guard does this way. Two guard reverse. You want to pick up one guard? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Great. You should just save her information to Tara in your phone. So I'm going to compare that right now to a seven down and we'll just go from there. So that way you guys can see. So I have my tin blade on and uh, let me see here. So we're actually going to come back here and do a seven down. It's really close. I'm able to still take a tiny bit off. So you can see the two guard reverse is really close to a seven down. So watch, I'm going to take a little tiny bit more off here. So what I'm going to do is just a seven down. That shows you how close the two guard reverse and the seven down is to each other. We don't know how she's gonna be either, like totally yet, because she's a I've never groomed her and she's a rescuer, so. I'm going to show you guys a butt. Yeah, it's okay. Both of them need it. <laughs> I wish you acted like that all the time. This morning he wasn't doing that, was he? <laughs> Stupid! Stupid! He likes to pick his arguments, man. You're the boss. And this morning he's like, you're not the boss. I wasn't trying to do that. Stupid! I don't know where I'm doing with the keys, man. I don't even know where the keys are right now, honestly. In my jacket pocket. If I did, the car is open. Yeah. 
Hey, you're looking snappy. Yeah, you're looking great. I need to change this pedestal, man. These pedestals, the cheap ones, I tell you what, you get what you pay for. See you later. See you later, love you, bye. I'll be back. Probably, but look, I'm almost done with this dog already. I'm doing a two guard reverse. I got my tin blade on it. Look at your ears, it's so cute. You're gonna, you're gonna, ah, ah, ah. You're all right. Let me see over here. Good. That's not bad, right? So I know she has eye boogers, so I'm going to get some of that out now. No, I'm not. We're going to get that out in the bathtub. Okay. All right, we're going to go to the bath. We'll be back. All right, here we go. She did great for the bath. Maria massaged that, all that poop out of her butt already. Yeah, it's all gone. Good job. Okay, hold on. You attached to her now? <laughs> Are you attached to her now? Mom said uh, rescuing her, she rescued her from the Keller Animal Rescue Center. And she said she was, she's now and very needy and doesn't ever want to leave her side and stuff like that. But she's doing pretty good, wouldn't you say? I think she's doing really good for, for mom telling me that. Are you excited? Are you a little bit excited? You're all right. Yeah, I gotta turn you back this way though. You gotta watch those nipples.
Look at that ear. It's so adorable. That ear is so adorable. All right, so I'm going to actually do my, that was a seven blade, and now, and a seven blade with my and a five speed clipper, and now I'm going to actually use my ten blade and come in and get, get my two guard. I'm actually going to do a two guard down the tail here. Just literally down the tail, sides and everything. That way it's even, I don't have to scissor really. I can clean it up with scissors, but for the most part, the length and the hitting it nice and even is all done. Okay, so that major part is done. We're gonna come back like we did earlier with our two guard reverse for the teddy bear head here. I call it teddy bear head. If you're not sure, just explain to the groomer what you want. Uh, teddy bear head can mean different things by different groomers. Just so you guys are understanding each other, be specific on what you're wanting. Mom and I had talked about maybe doing a schnauzer cut because she's got that schnauzer mix likely. And I can kind of see it in her hair, especially in her high knee and her hips and stuff like that. But since we, uh, I just really like her, the way it looks real cute up front, the teddy bear look rather than shaving her face and stuff. I really like that a lot better. So we're doing two guard reverse teddy bear head. Might as well go back here and just do a sanitary real fast with my tin blade on. Come back through a little bit like this. Okay, good there. I'm actually going to do uh, Yorkie ears, 10 down the ears here. This ear looks inflamed, so I'm going to let mom know that. Back with scissors more on the face here. I'll just get a vibe that she prefers uh, the clippers out of her face. And there we go. I'm going to come in and do the pads. Got my 40 blade here. Feel a little bit of, uh, where she's leery about what I'm doing, so I'm about to use the cone head. I'd rather you be safe than sorry, okay? So come in here, we're going to do this while I do her pads. I don't know her, and I don't know what's up, so just be safe than sorry.
actually great, right, for that. I mean, absolutely great. You never know, I gotta be safe and sorry. Right? You did great. Make sure you guys are still being recorded here. I'm going to do the feet here. I need to change my pedestal, my bad. You guys are like coming up from a, a low angle here. It's kind of hard to do because the pedestal is not, I don't like it at all. Here, let me see. There you go. Let me see. Let me see. Didn't want to take that whisker if I didn't have to. If we were going that short, great, but we're not. I'm not good having to take that whisker. And I could feel it in there. Those whiskers are hard. Let me see. Not always. Does it matter to me? No, but if I don't need to take a whisker, I'll try not to. It's not necessary. Two months, so you gotta make sure you get this pretty tight, in my opinion. See, I'm not going to shave down her nose. I don't have to. Cute, right? I got that scruffy, scruffy stuff going on. Get your ear shear, call it the ear shear. It's basically the only place I use it. Shh. This ear is inflamed, so I know it's probably bothering her a little bit. I'm gonna show you a little something, something here in a minute. Bring that all up here. Look here, look here. Let me see. You're too excited? It's okay, calm down. Oh my goodness, your ears are something else. Your ears are so cute. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Look at her soft hanging down ear in the one. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my goodness, so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Give me a second here. I'm going to show you that ear. Did you already? 
already clean the ears? Yes. Okay, great. I'm gonna come uh, come over here for a second. I'm gonna show you what I see. And so um, we sell an ear cleaning kit on our website. You may have seen other, um, you guys have, may have seen that on a, um, on the videos that we've done with ears. You can go look at our playlist on YouTube under ears. So in her ears right here, uh, give me a second here. I'm gonna unravel this off here. Yeah, this is not my favorite pedestal here. Okay, so I'm gonna have you holding this here. Watch through the screen what you're gonna see. <laughs> and you can look at this one and just tap here to zoom, uh, to, uh, to autofocus. Okay. So here, this one's not that bad. Okay, now come closer, but keep an eye on that. So you can see here, this looks pretty good to me. This is nice, it's not too bad or anything like that. Now we come and look at this one. <laughs> we actually see uh, some lines in here and inflammation, let's see here. We've got uh, some lines in there. Get in there closer. You see all that crack, like the, you can see the, like, I don't know, just the skin here is like as if I burned it. It looks like I just burned this a little bit. And so that's inflammation, it's swollen a little bit here. All those little, if I can look in there and see every little line in her ear, that's usually like inflammation. So compared to this one, now I want you, I'm gonna put this down a second. Look at the ears, but like now that what I said. So this one's inflamed. Oh yeah. Well, no, compare it to the other one. Look at the other one yourself too. Do you see a difference in the skin? Oh yeah, just the color and the texture. Okay, did you notice that earlier? Mm -hmm. no. no. So that's somebody that knows what they're looking at, has been doing this before, so she probably wouldn't have caught it. Mm -hmm. I immediately opened it and I was like, oh, this one, it, to me, I'm not a veterinarian, but to me this is a, an infection, but you can talk to a veterinarian, okay? So we're here at the salon, I'm going to help her, this lady out because she just adopted her. So to give her some relief, and I'm, this is for free, I'm going to do it for free for her. We already cleaned the ears. I'm going to actually now flush the ears. I'm going to cover my nose. She's going to shake her head in just a second. I'm going to just trickle that down her ear canal. Okay. She's going to shake her head. Be, be ready. I'm going to do it right here too. This is usually $15 for me to apply this in there and do a really thorough cleaning, which we've already done. So additional, because you're doing this malacetic ox, not cheap. And for me to just get all this done before you get home. However, I'm going to talk to mom about it and let her know she can either talk to a veterinarian or start a solution, start this solution down the ear canal will really help her ears. Okay, so her mom and I will talk about that when she comes in. So she'll shake her head now, hopefully. <laughs> because of her ears looking the way they do on this one, I would honestly clean and flush them daily for 30 days. And again, I'm not a veterinarian. If you feel like you, you just want to go to the vet, go to the veterinarian. They're the specialists. They can help you. Um, sometimes I have seen stuff sold that didn't help for months and months and months. And I've helped a lot of people get through that. So check with your veterinarian because I am not one. But as a groomer, this is what I would do. Okay. And you just want that fluid to get down the ear because whatever issues you don't know what she meant she could have been on the streets for like mm. two months and getting wet and rain and water in there she could have been hanging out at the lake all the time <laughs> you just don't know but a lot of times that inflammation is usually in my opinion caused by water getting in the ears and that can happen like all different kinds of ways being bathed really roughly water flying all over the place that's why you know when i say bathe press down on the ears Nothing is 100%. You cannot prevent 100% water getting in ears when you're doing a full body bath. But you can do what you can to try to prevent it from happening. You can even take it to a, a step nut. We hardly ever have ear infections caused from us. Could we ever? Probably. But it's not like every dog that comes in over 15 years gets an ear infection. So I know we're, we're not causing ear infections. Could it happen though? Of course. So if you feel like every dog that comes into your salon starts to have really bad ears, go ahead and do something different for your for your bath dogs. Something else is happening. You might need to put cotton balls in there on every dog if your bathers can't prevent water getting in the ears. If, you know, it's real messy or too fast, you got too much going on, they're not paying attention. One of the requirements is go ahead and put cotton, might be half of a cotton ball because they're big, cotton ball in each ear during the bath and then they'll probably shake it out by the end of the bath, but just some different ways to prevent ear infections in the dogs that you're grooming. But in her case, she's just rescued. Who knows what happened? So we'll talk to mom about it and go from there. Okay, here we go. We're all done. We all got her all cleaned up. So we're gonna do, hey, we didn't get going yet. So she looks what? Really? Look at her ears, man. I just love her ears. Look at her. Oh my goodness. What a great find. 
Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching.